So this is a story about a computer that doesn't seem to have a problem. I just received this computer in from a customer and as usual I ask them what the problem is and uh, I try to give them a good estimate and um, the problem with this is it's slow, very slow. And you know that's pretty typical among PCs to be slow. So I thought that perhaps a restore would be in order and that's what I told would probably be wrong with this and I would have to perform a restore and, and maybe check the RAM and make sure that uh, it had enough. Anyway, um, once in a while you get these machines and uh, you look at them and you can't find nothing wrong with them at all. And what I usually do is I'll take the cover off and I'll check the RAM. I think there's 4 gig in this one. Not too shabby. This is a, uh, a uh, dual core machine. And it seems pretty clean. And I booted it up and it seems just fine. So we've got a Pentium dual core CPU. 3.2 gigahertz. There's 4 gig of uh, RAM. It has Windows Professional 7. And it runs pretty fast. I mean, I went through and I played some YouTube videos and the boot up didn't take long at all. So it makes me wonder why my customer thinks this is slow. And this happens every now and then, and so I thought I'd go ahead and make a video of it. And uh, perhaps let's get some closure to this. Obviously, they're comparing it against something to think it's slow. Perhaps it's their internet connection. Now, this was shipped from out of state, so it's not something that I can just take back to their location and try. I'm going to have to actually try to walk through the problem on the phone with them. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and let this run a while, and then I'll try to, you know, surf the web again and, and make sure that it's still performing like I think it should. And this certainly acts like a 4 gigahertz, um, you know, dual core, 3.2 gigahertz machine to me. I could do bench testing on it, but I can just tell it's very responsive. But, you know, when it heats up, maybe things will change. So I'm going to have to spend some time with this to confirm that uh, it's okay. And then we're going to have to start looking at uh, their internet connection because usually that's where the problem lies. Or maybe they have some hardware that I didn't receive that was plugged into this that was slowing it up. Like a printer and, you know, things in the cubes, things like that. So anyway, I'll get back on a second video when I let this run a while and I'll let you know if it slows down or speeds up and then we'll, we'll talk about some options and what we're going to do with the customer to make sure that they're satisfied that this machine is, is running correctly for them. So uh, I'll be back. Well, I just got off the phone with the customer after running this computer for a while and letting it heat up and see if you know the quickness of it changed so it wasn't so slow and after i got off the phone with the customer i now know the answer they gave me a different computer when they were talking about a slow computer they were talking about the one that they're currently using and this computer is actually a new old computer that they purchased off a company lease this is a custom computer. You can see it's made by DigiLink. It's a uh, computer manufacturer out of uh, Michigan. Anyway, that goes to show you that uh, a lot of times your customer may give you wrong information. So it's very important that you go through and check and make sure that uh, the problem exists before you try to fix it. I could have just went ahead and did a restore on this machine and that wouldn't have necessarily fixed the problem because that wasn't the problem of this machine. In fact, what they wanted me to do and what they meant to tell me was they wanted me to um, remove the user passwords that were on here for several of the applications 
and put it back to just general user use so that they could access certain things without the old company name being on it. And they didn't get restored disk for this, so um, you know it's a touchy subject because the uh, the backup's not on the partition either. So what I'm going to do is just go through here and make some changes and put it back, you know, to factory as close as I can and clean it up and send it back. But anyway, that's uh, one for those that, that are doing computer repair to keep in mind to, you know, follow up with what your customer tells you and make sure that it's doing or not doing what they, what they tell you. So I hope you got some use out of this video. This is more for the people that work on computers or want to get into computer repair. And uh, just a little video for uh, your information. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave us a thumbs up and a comment if you wish. If you have your own question that you would like answered, please head over to the gurubrewshow.com website, click on the Ask a Tech link and leave a question and maybe we'll answer it in an upcoming show. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.